I heard something yesterday that I thought you might be interested in, and as I wrapped up a morning and early afternoon's worth of work, I thought, you know, I'm going to take just a second to share it with you because it was really helpful to me, and I think it might help you too. It's related to this image you see behind me on my whiteboard down in my home office, down uh, downstairs. This is a wall that actually my son and I painted with an Idea Paint Create kit. It's pretty cool. We turned the wall into a whiteboard. The whiteboard has become a very, very important process for me, and it is related to this concept that I heard yesterday, which is this, that you will never be caught up. Okay, so just get over it. You will never be caught up. You will never finish every project you're working on. You will never get all the things done that you want to do. It just won't happen. There's too much to do, especially if you are an entrepreneur and or a very driven person and you have a lot of projects you're working on, a lot of things you're doing. If you're one of those people, like I am, you're throwing a lot of mud at the wall every day, every week, every month, every year, and only some of it's going to stick because you just can't work on all of it. And some of it, once you get going on it, it's very clear that it's stuff you got to get rid of anyway. You clean it up and you move on. And that's what I do on this whiteboard very often, like it, like today, at the end of the day. I get toward the end of the day. I've been working on a lot of different things. I made some decent progress. It wasn't the most productive day. And I just clear everything out, and I start throwing more of this a little bit more focused mud at the wall so that tomorrow everything starts fresh. But that it's that concept that you will never be caught up as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, or even as someone who works for another company but is very driven, project-oriented type person, creative type person. Let go of the feeling of being caught up or that you will that you have to get caught up or that you need to get caught up or that you will get caught up and that you will finish every single project that you're working on. Because once you do that, it actually is extremely liberating. What you need in its place are processes like I use with the whiteboard. So this is just one of many processes I use to clean up and reset and get going tomorrow on the things that need to be done. Because if you don't have these, then you really start to feel overwhelmed. So I write these things down. I take a picture of the whiteboard. I put that picture, label it as notes, and put it up into Evernote. And then I have a running list of all of that stuff. And I have other to-do list systems, which I'll share another time. But it's a system for dealing with the organized chaos. And here's the story I'll finish with. I've been reading a lot of Civil War stories and books, a lot of historical fiction on the Civil War. Jeff Shara is the author, S-C-H-A-A-R-A, -A -A, terrific stuff. I've never really experienced historical fiction in the way that, that he presents it, and it's just awesome. But, but here's the metaphor. A Civil War battle, thousands of men, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 men on each side, fighting on two sides of a, of a river, or fighting in the hills of Pennsylvania, in the Battle of Gettysburg, that's a lot of organized chaos. The theme though, and so you're listening to these stories and you're thinking, how in the world do they know? Because it's really hard to get a visual from listening to, I listen to a lot of audiobooks without a map in front of me. It's, it's hard to get a sense, but you think how, all these men without the communication tools we have today, fighting to the death for the preservation of the Union. We're coming up on the 150th anniversary, by the way, of the Battle of Gettysburg. And so that's kind of a big celebration. Um, but that's a topic for another time. What I'm talking about is it's the same kind of organized chaos. Now, I'm not by any means relating my organized chaos directly exactly to the organized chaos in the Civil War where men were dying, men were dying for a cause. All right. I'm just talking about, think about what that was like. Thousands of men in the hills trying to figure out where they are and where they're making progress and where they're not and what they should do next and making decisions on the fly about what to do. That's the kind of thing you're doing as an entrepreneur on a daily basis. And once you let go of the idea that you're going to get completely caught up and you embrace the idea of organized chaos and you create systems for doing your best to organize that chaos as best you can, you will feel much better. This is John Ashworth, The Fitness Nomad. Thanks for watching. Take care.